when it comes to solar panels. So much information, so much confusion. So let's ask the experts, the manufacturers of solar panels. And my question that I asked at All Energy, how to pick a good solar panel. What sets your panel apart from many of the others? I think what you're looking for out there is one trusted partner. You can look around this show, there's a lot of panels. How do you really make a distinction between those panels? QCells has been around a long time. We know how to make a good panel. We have R&D across four centres worldwide, actually, and the, the R&D continues. Well, REC is an innovator, and REC has, was a pioneer, has been manufacturing solar panels for 27 years. The technology REC has developed is something that I consider to be more advanced. Well, Marcus, we are actually launching our N-type panels across the range and these N-type panels are actually come with actually dual glass so no back sheets anymore. So it actually gives a better reliability, more durability and you get a high energy yield from these. So that shows a differential to lots of other panels that you see on the floor today at All Energy. First of all, Longi is a brand that spends a lot of money in R&D. Right now we have the back contact sheet. Some of the most expensive brands, we're not going to name names, have been using this technology for many years. But Blongi, uh, we're trying to make this affordable and bring it to everyone, to absolutely everyone. So you get the best of the best. Let's say if I want to choose a solar panel, what are the key things I should look out for? I think there's three things that we need to look at. One is how are you going to be looked after? The warranty, is it a good long warranty that for the period of time you're going to be in the house or that building, are you covered? And as part of that, what's the support behind it? Does the team have roots here in Australia? Have they been here for a long time? And is the team made up of people who have stuck with the company for a long time? The second thing we want to look at is innovation. Only those companies that improve and sell lots of panels are going to be here for the long term. So you're looking for a company that is releasing a product that is similar power or better power than the industry. That shows that you have an innovator there. And the final thing is independent testing. So do they have independent reliability testing? Is there independent surveys showing that the brand is respected in the industry? When you are buying technology, you don't want to buy outdated technology. This is why I believe that REC has a difference in the market because the technology we are bringing today is the technology of the future. So the consumers can actually buy today what's going to be the mainstream products in five to ten years time. Even if I have one of the best panels, can it be still be stuffed up through the install? I think there's some pretty good panels out there and in fact we're in a great industry, we're all doing great things, but uh, when you talk about workmanship, when you talk about that ability to handle a panel and get it onto a roof safely, put your time into actually finding that solar retailer who you feel is giving you the answers you need to hear and the reassurance of that install actually on that roof, on your own roof. It is your home after all, this is your prized possession, put the time into making sure that's done well is very, very important, especially for consumers that are looking for quality and something that's going to last a long time. I really recommend the consumers to do their research and I believe that the work that you are doing, your business is doing, is going to help consumers to actually find more information about solar energy. It's very important to have a very good installer who's had a good track record, who's been in the game for, for quite some time. I would also choose a local installer because tomorrow you have a problem with your system. You can call your local installer and I'm pretty sure the ones that I know, they come down to your place, they get up on the roof and try to fix that problem straight away. Absolutely important. If you're going to choose a good installations company, you know, you want a company that's actually got a bit of a good reputation that's been in the market for a little while. Say if you got a new company that's just a startup company, they've been in business for one year, then, you know, how are you going to, you know, follow through on the warranty? Yeah. So you're saying if a new company is one year in business and gives you a 10-year installation warranty, there's a bit of a discrepancy, is it? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say a discrepancy, but I would probably be looking at those companies that actually been in business for at least, you know, three to three to five years at least. And, you know, just do, do, do your background, your homework. On the company. I like the ones eight to ten plus years. Absolutely, you can't miss there. <laughs> now, when it comes to solar panels, I see more and more products every year and all that. What's the latest trend? Yeah, the latest trend is really the N-type Topcon. In terms of size, the trend is to 440, and of course, Jinko started that trend. Similar to years back where we saw a transition from poly panels to the mono panel. Of course, now it's P-type all the way into the N-type technology. And look, for the consumer out there, the N-type, we don't need to bog down in the details. It's just a superior technology that is has performance and sustainability characteristics that are just better. 
Uh, the latest trend, I would say, would be our N-type modules, as well as the wafer sizes have actually increased, allowing for um, much um, larger output and um, better efficiency of the modules as well. The word that everyone talks about now is N-type. However, N-type is actually not the latest technology anymore. Heterojunction technology is now the latest technology. Heterojunction is an evolution of the N-type because it combines two types of technology, which is the N-type with thin film. Heterojunction solar panels can perform really, really well under low light because of the thin film. They can perform extremely well under hot conditions. That technology is gonna be a mainstream technology in five to 10 years time. RAC has been producing it since 2019. If I had a panel or a manufacturer and I have to choose something that is my key thing I should look out for, what is it? Ah, good question, Marcus. I would actually point to not so much some of the specs. Panels are pretty well made. It's actually the reassurance about how that is made. So therefore, we're talk speaking to the reassurance, the warranty support of the company behind the panel. In my opinion, I know that looks important, but that needs to be coupled with quality and reliability. You need to have that peace of mind that when you install this, it's going to last. Launch panels, they last. I still think it comes back to support. So you're looking for a strong partner that can be there to help you. And that same strong partner can then work with, for example, universities and so on to develop new products and stay strong in the market. First of all, the company track record. What's the company history? How long they've been manufacturing solar panels? Have they had big warranty claims in the past or they've been consistent along the way? So that's one thing is look at the company itself. The second thing is look at the support of this company. So what's the local sales support and after sales support the manufacturer is, is offering? And finally, the consumer needs to look at the technology. Is actually that the latest technology? And we know that there is always limited roof space and there will be an increase in energy demand by created by electric cars, by battery storage. So every kilowatt will count on the roof. So when, you, when the consumer is buying uh, solar technology, they should look at what's the technology they're going to need in five to 10 years time. And they should be buying the latest technology because that's going to still be relevant in five and 10 years time. So that's my recommendation. Unfortunately, since we filmed this segment, Q-Cells, one of the largest panel manufacturers, has decided to leave Australia. Now, it's just such a competitive market. And if they can sell their panels in markets like the US and Europe for more profit, then they'll do just that. That's business. Now, q -Cell says that the warranties are still valid. People should not worry about anything and time will tell. But this latest development again tells you Pick your solar product with care and go for a local installer, one that is with you through thick and thin. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.